it's Anka with video 26 and the step number 5 in your mindset process meditate and release now a lot of people do meditate and even if you're not meditating from a spiritual standpoint although most of successful entrepreneurs I train with are very spiritually conscientious and they understand the importance of bringing their spirituality into their business meditation has been proven medically to do wonders for everyone it de-stresses you, it opens you, it relaxes you, it enhances your creativity. Now, I'm sure that many of you know more about it than me. So I suggest you find 15 or 20 minutes. I don't care if it's going to be 20 minutes in the morning or at the end of your day before you go to sleep. You can certainly find 20 minutes for yourself. So just sit quietly in a quiet place where you won't be disturbed. Breathe deeply, relax every muscle in your body and stop thinking and become open. In the beginning, it might be a bit difficult because lots of thought will co thoughts will come into your mind. But with a little bit of practice, I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. During that time, I want you to release your attachment to all those thoughts, habits, patterns and beliefs that are not serving you well. I want you to literally say, I release you, I'm done with you, I let you go. And at that moment, you start to access your deepest power. And when you do this for a while, you will start to feel this light, this feeling of lightness inside of you, and you will start to get all kinds of creative thoughts and inspiration. You will have your instincts, your instincts will become much stronger. You'll be open to new ways, to new wisdom, new guidance, without becoming attached to how that manifests itself. So we all have all, we all have ideas of how things should proceed. Maybe you have set ideas about you should market your practice, for example. And if those are not working, you need to open yourself up to something new. Either the right mentor will appear, the right system will appear, the right approach will appear, and you will start to to become more aware of opportunities that you might have been blind to before. This is an incredible process. And when you let go of this, sometimes all of this slip back, right? So you've got to ask yourself, how am I holding on to defending the things that don't work? It is very, a very important question. And how can I release this attachment? And then finally, it's time to take action. And this is where the entrepreneurial mind, oops, the, this is where the entrepreneurial mind shift occurs. Because people that are successful and happy, now you can be successful and not happy, but I'm talking about the people that are successful and happy do these things. They get outside their comfort zone all the time. This was a revelation for me when I started to understand this. They act even, even when they're scared. So yes, I'm a little nervous about taking the step, but I'm going to do it anyway because I know that I've been given guidance that this is the right thing to do. They get help and non-judgmental support. You are not an island. You need a village to grow your business, just like you need a village to raise your children. You need people who will give you the right support, who are successful and really understand the conscious plate, place that you are coming from. And then you need to repeat the six step process again and again and again. So ask yourself these questions. What am I doing each day to change? Or am I falling back into all patterns? And what is it the cost of not making these changes? What is it the cost to you? What is it the cost to your family? What is, it, what is the cost to all those people that need your help that aren't going to get it? What is the cost? And when you answer these questions, you will see how absolutely vital and important it is for you to go through this process. So in the Sort of Success Business uh, Practice Breakthrough Intensive in August in Richmond Hill, 
we're going to spend a large portion of the day working on mindset issues and helping you to individually identify those vision busters and breakthrough, transform, and go through this process so you can create a powerful practice that aligns with your core values, that makes you feel like you're expressing yourself authentically, that embodies your personal purpose and your personal gifts. So you're not doing what someone else expects of you, but you are doing what you know in your heart is the right thing to share with the world and creates an unstoppable abundance because now you're open to it. So go to patientsmagnet.com slash intensive and I really hope to see you in August. Come back soon because the next video addresses a very crucial, crucial um, issue, the money issue. Until then, go practice this, this stuff.